Good morning, everyone. Welcome, welcome uh, to today's session on open tech cybersecurity, managing privacy protection, compliance, and healthcare cybersecurity. First of all, I want to thank all of you for coming in so early. And I know it's really early. I came from Silicon Valley, so I'm actually two hours behind. So really excited to be talking to all of you. And once again, thank you all for coming. So let's get started. So I'm going to present a little bit on open tech cybersecurity and the state of the healthcare industry. And then we'll have a very interesting panel discussion uh, by Scott and three of our customers. So really looking forward to that as well. So why should cybersecurity be top of mind for the healthcare industry? You know, ever since COVID started, telehealth has come into being, right? Well, that's like your remote work. So patients can communicate with the doctors remotely. They don't have to go into the hospital. You're not bound by the perimeter of the hospital, right? So now you, are, you have an expanded attack surface. So it's a very similar concept where now suddenly the attack surface has increased. And as you can see from the statistics here, you see the number of breaches have gone up 86% from 2021 to 2022. And the average cost of a breach is now 10.1 million. So that has gone up. So that is a serious concern in the industry. It's no, it's no joke, right? A lot of people can go out of business, a lot of healthcare industries and so on, depending on the size you are. And then the phishing emails, the ransomware attacks have really gone up as well, substantially. You know, it's kind of rampant today. And especially in the healthcare industry, I'm sure you've read about the breach in Barcelona last month, and they're still recovering from it because there's a loss of data, there's some critical surgeries that were postponed, and it's a life and death matter, right? It's not like any other industry where you're just looking at loss of customers and loss of reputation, it's a loss of life here. So it's a very serious issue. And it's not about just throwing technology to solve the problem, it's people and process, right? And you're gonna hear from the panelists today on why the culture of internal training is extremely important, security awareness training. There should be a culture of training and just people and process along with technology is what's gonna solve it. 82% of the breaches happen due to human error, right? So they apparently have to be trained. And that is important, not just once, but several times during the year. And again, you'll hear from the panelists, one of the discussions is on how important is to have that human hygiene in security awareness. Last but not the least is about compliance, right? So in the healthcare industry, everybody has to be compliant with HIPAA, right? Easier said than done. Security staff is always very difficult to find, retain, keep. They're very expensive. And that's where, like a managed service offering or managed detection and response types of offering can help enhance or complement your existing staff if they're very difficult to find. Okay. That being said, let's talk a little bit about the cybersecurity use cases that are very specific to the healthcare industry. We, as OpenTech Cybersecurity, have a, a very deep portfolio that can address any type of healthcare use cases. And we can match and prioritize your particular uh, use cases according to your journey where you are in the security awareness training. So let's talk a little bit about what, what we can do here. So how do we map the use cases? So for example, securing telehealth communications is extremely important. So how we can help? Well, any email bond threats, right? Like phishing, uh, ransomware, or BEC, we can help prevent that, whether it's inbound or outbound emails, right? So that's one way where we are uh, talking about use cases and how particularly we can address that. The second use case is, you know, you have EMR and EHR data, right? And that's very sensitive information, and that either you're storing or it's data in motion, you can encrypt that data, for example, right? And that can help you uh, uh, maintain that privacy and of, of your very sensitive information. Detecting and preventing insider threats, obviously very important in the healthcare industry. So you need access control, you need governance. 
And how can we do it? We have solutions around identity and access management that can help with that. So that, you know, like, like you see here, preventing patient data exfiltration, right? That, that's extremely critical as well. So with that, let me move on. I, I just talked about HIPAA. So what does open tech cybersecurity do, right? So we are very focused on simplicity and high, very high efficacy. And what I mean is that we provide end-to-end -end protection for our healthcare customers. So we can really help by looking at data, devices, applications, and the cloud as well. So how do we do it? So we can help reduce risk, for example, by providing layered security against all types of attack surfaces. We can help maintain trust with your stakeholders, whether they are external or internal, we can help by detecting and remediating threats as quickly as possible. The third thing is we can minimize disruptions by providing quick backup and recovery. That is extremely important because that really enhances your cyber resilience. Because what is cyber resilience? Cyber resilience is about maintaining business operations even when you're under attack, right? So what we pride ourselves in doing is we can enhance your security posture as well as you know, help maintain trust with your stakeholders by actually aligning our portfolio with five key pillars or outcomes. So that's prevention, detection and response, backup and recovery, investigation, and compliance. So if you look at that, we also align ourselves very well with the NIST framework, which all of you in the healthcare industry are very familiar with as well. So what is open tech cybersecurity? If you haven't heard of it, there's a method to the madness. In the past three to four years, we have acquired a number of companies here, as you can see. So just quickly, Zix, for example, is email security backup, right? and information archiving. Webroot, as you all know, provides DNS, security awareness training, as well as endpoint protection. NetIQ is about identity and access management. These are a few. Carbonite is about backup and recovery. Let me see with a show of hands, how many of you are using one or two of the products from the companies that I've listed? Okay, that's good. Thank you, thank you for being our customer. How about, uh, how many of you knew that OpenTech Cybersecurity now has acquired all these companies? Okay, now you know, that's the whole idea of this. <laughs> that's the whole idea here is to educate all of you on that OpenText is serious about security. Okay, and that's an ARC site you're all familiar with, you know, that's a SOC, SIM, Security Operations Center, so we, we, there's a method to the madness. We want to be the cyber resilient solution for healthcare. That's our goal. So let's look at the collective scale. Look at the customers we have on a global basis. It's consumer, small and medium business, enterprise customers, and we have presence in 180 countries. So like I mentioned, we believe in supporting our products we believe in innovating, and we, are, we believe in being a top security provider. So let's double click on the depth of our portfolio. So what you see on the left-hand side is the pillars or the themes, as I like to say, prevent and protect, detect and respond. Those are what we call as data security products from our acquisition of Webroot and so on. We address all attack surfaces because the goal is to provide layered security to try and thwart the bad guys from entering your organization, like healthcare, right? So, so we have endpoint protection, we have DNS, we have security awareness training. As I mentioned, that's a very important component. Email security as well as NetIQ, which is identity and access management. So in spite of that, sometimes the bad guys do get in. They go dormant within the industry and then they move around laterally. That's where our MDR solution, our NDR, Network Detection and Response, Oxite, which is a SIM, all that comes into play because we can help flush out that hidden threats and help in threat hunting as well. So now I, I, I just talked about data security, but what happens if you still get hit with ransomware? You've got to assume 
because of the rampant attacks that have happened, you want to be able to restore and back up pretty quickly. And that's where our backup and recovery can really help. You know, from endpoint to server to cloud to cloud backup, we can recover pretty quickly to the point in time of the attack. Investigate and discover, we can help you with some uh, discovering and investigation, looking at different threats. And archiving is basically investigations, right? You want to look at uh, a forensic analysis and investigation to go back and look at what, who did what, when. All of this product, especially on the left side, the security products are powered by our very own Bright Cloud Threat Intelligence. Why I'm so passionate about, or all of you should be passionate about Bright Cloud Threat Intelligence is we were the first to apply AI and ML, and we have been doing it since 2006. So we collect information from millions and millions of sensors that we have distributed, apply six generation AI and ML, correlate that information with third party like open source as well as government agencies and classify that into 82 different categories in real time. So what that, that, that helps is you not only discover existing threats, but also zero day threats. And we apply that to all our uh, security products. Not only that, 85% of the leading technology vendors out there in the security field leverage one or more of our services. So like Cisco, F5, Citrix. So we have case studies over there as well. So all of them leverage our bright cloud threat intelligence, which is our secret sauce. And we are working towards a secure cloud platform, which is a single platform for managing all, it's what I call as a one-stop shop, a single pane of glass to manage all our acquired companies. It is still work in progress right? But it's happening one stage at a time. And you can think of it as vendor consolidation as you think about, you know, the current situation in the healthcare industry or any industry people are looking to consolidate different vendors. Simplifying security, right? And then think about cyber insurance too. When you have all this layered security in place, we can help you obtain cyber insurance as well, if that makes sense. Proof is in the pudding, as I like to say. So this is a small sample of our customer base. We have case studies as well.